and welcome everyone to the world of warships with your trusty captain iron rifle well today it's a captain um yeah guys i would like to share with you the battle i did well i just recently played uh <clears throat> and um it was on my cleveland and it do show all of you that well only a couple of players can change the game uh from start to finish and um if you are one of those players well you will have all the great great games uh in the battle i'm going to show you everything went south for us we did lose many ships at the very end there was the well the enemy advantage of well there was four enemy ships against uh well me and the i believe it was fuso uh i believe it was fuso that did left uh and we still managed with couple of well of course couple of lucky shots we did manage to well win the game uh we managed to drop all of the enemies and um yeah it was pretty much a very very tight battle from start to finish uh so yeah guys let's uh, let's just jump into it and let's just watch the game but first remember about liking the video that is helping me greatly and of course subscribing to my channel where you will see probably more of the world of warships more of the other games and yeah i'm welcome to all of the suggestions in the well comment section down below what you guys would like to see me play maybe which ship or maybe you want my thoughts on some ships uh, let me know in the comments and i will try to fulfill it uh, but yeah let's let's just go let's just go and let's do see the battle and guys we are in the battle it's only 10 seconds you can look on the teams uh, we did have the advantage from the beginning uh, of having the one aircraft carrier, uh, which is the Boge. Boge. Oh, I didn't. I really don't know. And just from the beginning of the battle, I was turning to the well, getting to see because well, I did see the uh, Isokazi going over there to the Torpedo Alley. Uh, the Omaha. They decided to go the other way the other Cleveland uh, they decided to go the other way eventually as well he just uh, he's just now going straight but I do remember that I was here alone well alone uh, me and this destroyer we were basically in the sea uh, on the sea cap uh, so yeah I am just cruising over there well First of all, I was hoping to get the Cleveland help because, well, two Clevelands over here we could very easily push uh, with a destroyer uh, on our side. We could very, very easily push uh, towards the sea and, well, pass over sea and just start flanking the enemy and just uh, laying down some some fire to well all of the uh, J and I line, well, I and J lines and whatever the ships were there and even the H but yeah the cleveland did decided to go the other way and i was thinking okay i won't be going straight into uh into that uh that narrow very narrow pass uh well despite of me being in the cleveland uh very maneuverable ship uh it's still something that well i not feel very comfortable with just going through sea and um just just trying over there and um, as you can see from the from the map, from the mini map, uh, on the lines one and two, most of our team just went over there, uh, or just trying to get over there to just capture A. Uh, me and the destroyer, we are capturing C, so we are we just left B alone. And the B is a good spot for all of the destroyers, but not so much for the cruisers or anything more bigger. So right here, I do see the uh, Adoba. And I did well. I did previously switch to to my AP rounds, and I'm just trying to well range him. But as I'm seeing on the map, he will crash into the island. So I did um, did fire my initial shots just to range him, just to maybe see if well if he would turn, what what the direction he would take. And um, right about now, I kind of see that well. You are screwed because you are going into the into the island. So I immediately start turning my ship while avoiding those torpedoes. I do highly doubt that they will hit me. Placing another salvo into well, I was hoping the uh, 
broadside of Adoba, but as I am seeing that he is uh, just uh, moving, moving away from uh, from the well, from the island. I did still well manage to land a couple of hits, nothing major. Uh, but I, uh, the battleship that was in the uh, in the far end of the sea, uh, he just probably decided not to go too close because well. You never know what, how many destroyers there can be, and probably he wasn't paying too much attention on the minima because our other destroyer is on A, and um, the destroyer that was on C, uh, the Izakazi, well, he just went through the narrow pass and he won't be able to come back from that. So right now I was trying to avoid the torpedoes and I set the course over the island just to be safe, because, well, even though they do have a good range on those torpedoes and... Um, it probably won't reach me it's never never good well it's never a bad thing to be safer safer than sorry uh, so yeah right now I'm cruising over the island I'm trying to assess the situation because well whenever you do have uh, good cover good time to well cover yourself it's a very very good time to just hide or look on the minimap see what's going on and um, right now I do kind of see that the uh, enemy destroyers are trying to push through the middle. There are two of them and they are just going straight for our aircraft carrier. And I cannot blame their decision because, well, it was a pretty good one. Well, considering that we did have this advantage from the start. So my objective right now would be to destroy the most immediate threat to, uh, to our, our aircraft carrier. But yeah, the Phoenix, the Phoenix, and I'm already loaded with AP, so why the hell not just to place a couple of shots into him, just just make it his life a bit worse. Just a tiny bit, and over here I did realize that he is turning way too slow, and the other salvo, well, it just, well, it did hit, but it wasn't the proper aim salvo. So the second one here, I'm trying to predict that he will, well, he will crash into the island yet again and two shots landed on him i am reloading onto high explosive i am closing in on the distance on this uh mikazi here because from a very short distance i do have a greater chance to hit him and besides that i will be able to see whenever he will uh, drop his torpedoes so right over here i did hit him twice i did manage to get some critical hits some of the, uh, some fires going just putting him down to 2,900 damage over here. Couple of more shots and he will be done. So yeah, two more hits, he is destroyed. But now I did look on the map and I see, well, our aircraft carrier is kind of safe. So let me just get back on C because there was the Adoba. And I would pretty much like to kill him because, well, he will be flanking and I'm sure he will be flanking. Uh, so right now I am just seeing if the torpedoes, uh, how they are spreading, where they are going, and just pretty much trying to, well, turn myself. But, well, with the speed of the Adoba, well, you you would be surprised how fast this ship can go. Getting a hit by a Miyogi, a Miyogi here, this is, this was, this was, this was just hurting me. This was just hurting me too, well, badly. Uh, I did reload HE for for now, and I'm trying to put a couple of shots into into the Mayogi. Nothing successful, nothing pretty major to him. Well, I I'm just crap at this long range aiming. I am trying my best, and I'm well. Okay, here is the Adoba, spotted by our Izokazi, and um, yeah, 2,100 damage. I'm reloading AP, and I will be putting shot after shot into into this guy because well, he is on full health. I am pretty much well. If he would reload AP and he would uh, get better chance of the successful shots, he would kill me. But let's not forget about the destroyer that we do have uh, over here. So, couple of good shots, 8 hits, good damage, okay, come on, I need those citadels. 2 citadel hits, that's just great. And another salvo, and yeah, this is just it, 7 citadel hits, 2 normal hits, and we are done. And look who's here, another adoba coming in. Uh, just quick look on the torpedoes, where are they are going. And let me just open on this guy. 
Well, initially I was thinking that he will be making a full turn just to drop his torpedoes, but well, no luck over there. So let me just try to range you and um, yeah, let's open up on you. Let's do open up on you. Well, you are the major threat right now. And you are speeding up, so let me adjust my aim, and I'm still trying to do it properly. And the Adoba is on fire, thanks to a little bit of help from, uh, from the other cruiser that was here with me. So yeah, let's just put, start putting shots into him. Uh, but I do believe he did turn his attention to our destroyer, because, well, it's the only one here, only one destroyer that we do have. And yeah, we did have the destroyer. Okay, so now it's the Adoba against me and the other other cruiser. Well, as it turns out, me putting out the effective fire, effective damage is more than enough to put him down with the help of the other Cleveland that was... I believe it was Cleveland. Yes, it was Cleveland. Uh, but I don't know why the Cleveland was shooting the high explosive ammunition at, at this guy. Uh, because, well, as you all probably know by now, uh, it's like whenever you're using the high explosive uh, against the other cruiser, whenever you are in the cruiser, that's not a good idea. Go for the AP rounds, you will be, you will be doing way more damage to him than he is doing to you. Uh, over here, just destroying the enemy aircraft, and I do spot the enemy Izokazi, the last destroyer I do have, and I'm, I would be just trying to put a couple of shots into him, just maybe to scare him, maybe to help our Cleveland over here, and I didn't know what the Cleveland was doing, uh, because, well, I, you will see, the torpedoes are dropped, the Cleveland should start, I don't know, turning a little bit sooner, because, well, whenever you see a destroyer, on the enemy team that is uh, well sideways to you you can be pretty much sure that he will uh, he will just go for you or at least he will we uh, he will go with the torpedoes so right over here uh, I do hope that the Cleveland would be having him some repair kit but no he do not have any repair kit so he just managed to launch his plane uh, just for well, just for the sake of launching it and maybe spotting something. I did place a couple of shots into the mists, into the smoke screen, just hoping to, to score a hit. And over here I am doing ready for takeoff. I am doing a pretty risky thing. Because I am going through the torpedo alley, uh, knowing that the destroyer was over there, and I would be a very, very tasty uh, tasty ship for him. But then I do kind of remember that we do still have the aircraft carrier and it might be even tastier target for uh, for this guy. But nevertheless, I am very, uh, very cautious going in through the uh, through this pass over here because, well, destroyers are way faster than me. They could go pretty much very, very fast. And if he did target me by some miracle, uh, that's why I am dropping speed a bit. I will be well increasing my speed, dropping just not to well give this guy any chances if he is in the in this pass. Uh, but right now I do kind of wonder. Well, is if it, if, he, if he was here, uh, I wouldn't be able to to cap the, to start capping the base. But still, better be safe than sorry. Uh, Pre-aiming my guns with the HE ammo in it. And by looking on the enemy team, the HE ammo would be, uh, would be the ammunition that I will be using anyway in this battle. So yeah, just staying with it, preloading it already, it's just great. Okay, so he is not here. I will be able to cap, uh, cap C. They have no one here to recap it. So right now I'm thinking, okay, you know what, let's go for B. Let's do help on the A side of, uh, of the battle. So lines 1, 2 and 3, because, well, the majority of the enemy ships are over there. And right now I would say the teams are pretty even. They have destroyer, we do have aircraft carrier. Um, they have three battleships, we don't have one battleship, but we do have two cruisers. Things are okay. If we do play it well, we can win it. Uh, but yeah, everything can go south pretty, pretty soon. So right now it's uh, 5 against 4, so they are winning by one ship. And right now I did spot the Izokazi going after our, our aircraft carrier. And there is nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about it. So, well, yeah, 
I'm sorry, aircraft carrier, I would help you if I could. I probably should, well, uh, if I would be playing it other way, uh, we might lose. Because, well, if I went from uh, D8 or something like that, well, this, uh, this direction, go to help the aircraft carrier, I might go there or I might get just torpedoed in uh, by this destroyer. And by capping C, I actually give my team a fighting chance because, well, as you can see on the scoreboard, we are losing by 500 points. Well, almost 500 points. So getting the C cap and uh, going into the B will give us some of the edge we need in terms of points. Because, well, we still have six minutes into the battle. Uh, so, yeah, every, every point will count. Every little point will count. And, well, considering that our... Uh, our aircraft carrier will be going down very very soon yeah that's not that's not good that's really really not good the enemy is about to win so yeah right now I am just heading over to B uh, we just lost pretty much well the uh, the other uh, the other cruiser so we are screwed we are two well badly damaged ships and yeah, I would say badly damaged ships because well, whenever I'm in Cleveland, so even if you are in the cruiser and you get the full broadside and some lucky hits from any battleship and they do get the citadels, well, even without the citadels, you are facing like nine, eight thousand damage. So yeah, we would be kind of screwed. The the lead. So right now I'm just rushing in over there just to help our Fuzo. Uh, with this Mayogi, yeah, the Mayogi did fired our uh, our Fuso did fired. So yeah, let me just get into the B, start cupping the B, because well, as you still look on the points, it's 877 to well, I would say 200. And yeah, two Mayogis, and yeah, that was the thing that I was thinking that okay, we lose if uh, when I did see the Mayogi on the full full health, and it was like okay. Not a chance, absolutely not a chance. But then the game adjusted itself, it just showed me that, well, it, we only need to well kill like 10,000 of his hit points. So, yeah, I'm starting putting fire on the Mayoki, hoping to set him on fire uh, and starting to, well, getting down his uh, his HP that way. I am still paying a close, uh, close attention to the minimap, just waiting for the destroyer to, well, pop in and just show himself. Uh, over here I'm just trying again to put some effective fire, trying to light him, trying to light in Mayogi with uh, with my HE ammo and hoping for a fire and yeah there's my first fire so okay great let's let's just keep firing at him and just try to chip that down his health and maybe our Mayogi will be uh, will be good with that so yeah a couple of more shots and i'm just hoping come on myogi uh our myogi oh uh, sorry our fuso come on get this guy down i can only scratch him you are the one that needs to kill him and yeah there is a bit of my tunnel vision because i did spotted the destroyer early on and i'm just uh, trying to see you okay here it is seven kilometers so it is manageable well i did score a kill but the kill should go to our fuso because well he did the majority of the job and over here it was just well aimed uh salvo uh, at this at this destroyer i was so happy that all of that did hit him because well i would be screwed and yes i am screwed right now because Mayoki did place a good salvo on me and as you did see okay our fuso just well, scored some great hits against them, and he just went down. None of my shots. Yet. And yeah, look on the look on the chat. That's just simply amazing. Four hits, four citadels. What the fuck? Okay, come on. It's a game. It is a game. And over here, Wyoming. Uh, Salvo on me. I am trying to do something about it, and he did knock out my gun. I did congratulate the guy uh, on our team on placing such a good shot uh, into the enemy team, uh, to the enemy Mayogi. Uh, and right now I'm just trying to light the Wyoming on fire and just hoping, hoping to give a fighting chance because, well, I am on the edge here. 2000, uh, 2000 health is nothing. The better chance of getting this guy to have our Fuso. 
and I'm just hoping. Okay, I will maybe light down, uh, light up the Wyoming, set up some damage to him. I will give a fighting chance to uh, to my teammate. I did manage to land him on fire, and yeah, I do know I did run into the island, but I was hoping to run into the island because, well, it sometimes can screw the enemy, uh, enemy, well, targeting, and. I did think that the Wyoming just went uh, full down on our Fuso and uh, yeah I'm just trying to put the effective fire but yeah the battle did end up shortly after so yeah never give up never ever give up and so guys that is the victory screen I did manage to record it just after the battle uh, so as you can see from here I did receive 272,000 uh, credits free well, 3,600 experience, uh, one battle reward, which is the Confederate, as you can see from him here, 157 hits, one plane shut down, six critical hits, four targets destroyed, 10 sets of fire, seven citadel hits, and two base captures. Uh, well, as for the team score, as you can see, well, I'm on top with 1,599 XP, just beneath me is the Fuso, and the rest of the team, well, did pretty, pretty good job also. All of them. All of the team did a pretty good job. Uh, from the detail report, the damage I caused is uh, 38,000 with AP, 27,000 with AG, and, well, 13,700 from uh, fire damage. So, yeah, that is, that is great. Well, secondary battery shells fire only 8. None of them did hit, none of them did did anything so yeah those secondaries yeah all of them but for the credits and experience as you can see I did manage to earn 272,000 uh, credits minus repairs minus everything it's 235,000 for XP well it was my first victory of the day uh, with, uh, with with this with this ship so I did manage to get 2399 experience uh, times one and a half well the overall experience is 3598 and right now I did wish I did have a flag on my ship because well it would be just just amazing so yeah let's get back to the port and let's look on the beautiful beautiful cleveland yeah i i do love this ship i i must say it's one of the greatest ships uh on the tier six i would even go as far as saying well right now on the tier six i think it is the best cruiser uh on the tier six and i do know that the japan and the uh aoba or yeah i i think it's aoba uh it's slightly slightly weaker i i personally don't know why but as you did see all of those uh citadel heads i managed to land on the enemy at about well it's pretty much self-explanatory uh, but guys that would be i think that would be it for today also remember about uh well if you would like to send me uh send me your replays there will be a link down the video on how to set up your replay system right now so you can well do it yourself uh, I am using it and well I'm I'm quite happy with it but I would really really like the uh, proper replay system implemented into the game as ASAP just ASAP so uh, how to do it is in the video description also there is my email link in the video description if you also have good battles or just the battles that you want to share let me know send me an email i am checking it every day so yeah guys go go just go send me some replays send me some cool cool uh, cool videos uh but yeah also 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 all the, all the v well all the helpful links are in the video description so go check them out um there is the other playlists there is the release schedule on which i am still currently working because well we've been introducing the world of warships and uh seeing that it is a quite popular game with you guys right now so i'm planning to to well add some more world of warships uh game uh game footage uh, to, for you guys uh so yeah go go check it out also there's my twitter there's my facebook and uh 
yeah yeah that that's pretty that's pretty much it if you are interested in that go check it out i will be very grateful and of course like the video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it and remember remember about subscribing to my channel it is helping me greatly uh so guys but yeah that would be it for today so again thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and i do hope to see you all next time but until then iron rifle out